I'm at Pharmacology 2013 to deliver the Gary Price lecture. I received an email from Dr. Alan Hudson inviting me to give uh, the Gary Price uh, lecture uh, this year, and I have to say I, I was I was really quite taken aback. I was I was thrilled, delightly, delighted, and um, uh, somewhat um, shocked. I guess I didn't know Gary, uh, but reading his work, I actually saw there was you know some parallels in terms of his interest, although in, in G protein coupled receptors, to my own interest in sort of quantitative uh, receptor pharmacology. So um, I hope that my uh, lecture is uh, fitting in in that respect in terms of its content and the direction that, that I've taken within uh, my career. So the topic of my lecture is the uh, structure and function and pharmacology of uh, NMDA receptors. NMDA receptor is a subtype of ionotropic glutamate receptor and glutamate is the major excitatory neurotransmitter found in the brain. Uh, NMD receptors in themselves have a lot of uh, peculiar attributes and uh, they are implicated in a variety of both physiological and pathophysiological functions. For example, in early development they're critical for uh, synapse formation. So my lecture touches upon how we can use uh, certain ligands to try and identify different subtypes sub of NMD receptors, of which there are four. Um, and then in, in, in terms of diseases, uh, NMD receptors have been implicated in many uh, diseases of the central nervous system, uh, degenerative diseases, neurodevelopmental diseases. For example, NMDA receptor hyperfunction in, is thought to play a role in schizophrenia. And in uh, cell death, excessive activation of NMD receptors uh, causes neuronal death. So, for example, during ischemic stroke, there is a, a large release of glutamate. Uh, neurons are killed essentially by excessive glutamate receptor activation uh, or NMDA receptor activation. And uh, uh, being able to target NMDA receptors as potentially a uh, uh, as a therapy to treat these has been uh, a large focus of the, the pharmaceutical industry for probably the best part of 30 years. I'm afraid to say that uh, that particular strategy in terms of antagonizing the receptor has not, f not been uh, proved efficacious in developing um, uh, therapeutics, although what my uh, lecture deals with is alternative approaches to understanding the role and where targeting could occur and rather than at the receptor level uh, at downstream signaling pathways involved in NMDA receptor activation. So the, the overall topic kind of fits very nicely into a sort of structure, function and potential uh, therapeutic benefit of this particular ion channel. I'd like to think there were several take-home messages from my talk. The first of these being how we can study uh, the activation of NMD receptors and how uh, their activation is controlled and what we can understand about the role NMD receptors play from understanding their, their act, the activation process. Another point which I emphasize in the lecture and which has got general applicability to pharmacology is that drugs that we um, are told are selective for particular receptor subtypes may not necessarily be so and that we want to ensure that uh, we understand how uh, specifically antagonists work and how uh, we use these in conditions that are appropriate to ensure that they actually uh, do what we think they're doing in terms of blocking particular subtypes. I highlight some recently uh, developed drugs um, which uh, do show promising selectivity in particular for a subtype of NMDA receptor, the, it contains GLUN2A subunits. And then I, I bring it together by trying to relate the structure and function of NMD receptors by looking at, uh, talking about a, a paper we published uh, with colleagues at Edinburgh University, uh, notably Giles Hardingham and Seth Grant, uh, whereby uh, we swapped the carboxy terminal domain of GLUN2A and GLUN2B NMD receptor subunits and showed that it was the nature of the carboxy terminal domain that determined the response to excitotoxic insult and therefore offering 
uh, insights into how targeting NMD receptors need not be at the receptor level, but rather downstream signaling pathways could be potentially a therapeutic benefit. And that indeed has been uh, developed uh, further. I often get asked about why I'm interested in studying NMD receptors in particular. Um, I think that it goes back, way back to my undergraduate days um, when I was at Glasgow University and I was first introduced to the technique of um, patch clamp recording. And I was told in lectures uh, that it was possible to record the activity of a single ion channel. This uh, fascinated me, the ability to essentially record the activity of a single protein in real time was something that I wanted to do. And I guess it still holds my fascination. When I teach undergraduates in pharmacology at Edinburgh, I still tell them, I take them into the lab and I show them these oscilloscope traces essentially from a recording and actually tell them this is real time, this is actually happening in your brain just now. And the hope is that very process will um, lead to a memory formation uh, and that they will go away and understand a little bit more about the, the, the control uh, that um, and activation of NMD receptors in particular has or uh, in uh, cellular uh, neurophysiology and neuropharmacology.